are you today? Very, very good morning. My name is Sam. Okay. And nice to meet you, Sam. Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Yeah. You'd like to have an introduction today, is that correct? Exactly. Would you like to go first or would you like me to go first? Of course, miss. If you like to go me first, of course I can. I will surely. Thank you. Uh, my name is Sohel and I am from India. Uh, basically, uh, as in my hobbies if you want to know, uh, I love to watch Disney anime movie, spending time in nature and reading books. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing with me. Uh, my pleasure, my delectation. As I said, my name is Sam mm -hmm. and I live in Australia. Mm -hmm. I live um, about three hours from Melbourne. Mm -hmm. I am married and I have four children. I love to cook and to bake and I also enjoy reading and doing craft projects and just spending time with my family. Mm -hmm. that's so that's cool. a little bit about me. Uh, that's, uh, that's awesome. Thank you kindly. Mm -hmm. You are so <laughs> looking so you can say uh, kind and uh, down to earth, salt of the earth person. You are like so kind, really. Thank you so much. That's a lovely thing to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's my plan. So how long have you been teaching in English? Um, nearly three and a half years. Three and a half years, okay. Yes. Yes, okay. so um, I love it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, you know, I, and I want to know, uh, being a mother of like four children, <laughs> what type of responsibilities you have on your shoulder? Well, now my, my children are older now. Mm -hmm. They range from 26 to 13. Mm -hmm. So, um, yes, my, our older two have already moved out of home. So, it's, it, we've only got the younger two at home. Mm -hmm. so, so that's it. So there is a, any children living with you now or not? Yes, two. Um, a, we have, he's nearly, he's 15 next month. Uh, so our youngest son lives at home, he's 15. And um, our daughter, who's 13. Mm -hmm. and so do you have picture? Do you have photo of them? No, not in my office. I don't. Okay, you are in your office no. right now. Yes, yes. Um, I'm just trying to see. Let me see. And then our older two children are 25 mm -hmm. and 20, 25 and 24. Okay. So um, that one, they're the younger two. <laughs> uh, really? They are looking so, yes. so adorable, both of them. Yes, so they're, they're 15 and 13. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yes, I've got three boys and a girl. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, they're, they're great. We've been in lockdown, mm -hmm. so we finished lockdown last night and they've been able to go back to school today, which has been fantastic. So they're, they're very happy about mm -hmm. that. Uh, so I want to know how do you spend uh, time with your children? Like what are the things you like to do with them? Um, sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Of course. Um, so um, with my my daughter, I um, I do. She loves making things. Uh, she's very She's actually very talented. She makes her own jewellery and, and things like that. So we, we like to create things together and cook together and, and do all of those sorts of things and, and just do fun things together. And um, 
my actually all three of mm-hmm. my sons are musicians and so yeah I'd, I'd like to hang out with my son and he he writes his own music and plays guitar and and so he'll he'll show me what he's he's been working on and and do that and we like to go and do bush walks and um, go camping and just hang out and spend time together. Mm-hmm. So that's really nice. And then our older boys, they live an hour away from us, so we see them at least once a month. So, yeah, that's lovely. Oh, that's really so amazing, memorable. Yes. Yes, yeah. No, we're all very close, mm-hmm. which is good. Yes. Exactly. So what is the best way? lesson you have learned from your life the best lesson i've learned is probably that always be kind mhm always be kind you you never know um actually probably two and they're, they're probably both as important as each other that even in the dark mm-hmm. even in the darkest days that that when you you think that you can't go on you can just just keep going because there'll be light mm-hmm. um it's you you'll get through it and be kind to people no matter what because you don't know what they're going through. Mhm. Exactly. And and I think they're both as important as each other. Mhm. Uh, uh spot on. Spot on. A great mind yeah. think alike. Yep. And yeah, that that's another <laughs> I say that all the time. Mhm. Go on single like yes. <laughs> Ozzy Ozzy Ozzy. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. You are faster than me. I haven't completed it. You are saying before that. Cool, cool. I, I think every Australian that's built into you. Exactly. <laughs> it comes out before. <laughs> so, you know, I want to know uh, about Danny. Uh, do you use Danny? Danny. Danny? <laughs> Actually, no, I... I don't but do you know um my my husband and my sons do Okay they use Danny Yeah Mhm Oh cool And what about thongs thongs Thong or uh, thongs Yeah exactly Yes yes So you also yeah. use that one like for flip flops for flip flops Yeah never use flip flops always use thongs Thongs exactly Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I'm thongs, talking. Yeah. And thongs is so much easier to say than flip flops. Exactly. But in America, that is considered another thing. Yeah, now that's just weird. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, nowadays I'm learning like all this slang. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and there's so much of it. Uh, so um, would you like to tell me like i have learned a number of is there something in your mind you would like to teach me today which are you using in your everyday life good i am i <laughs> you know that one mhm okay yeah yeah so mate mate is is something that's used every day mate 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 okay friend No worries. No worries in yeah, all. No time. worries. Yeah, no worries. No probs. Mhm. Yeah, no no probs is another one. No probs. Uh, yeah. So what no does problem. it mean? Okay, probs. It, it is a short and one. It's a short and a problem. Mhm. <laughs> you know, there is my uncle like he is so you can say high spirited person. Like he is so jolly person, high spirited. like energetic yes, person yes. so you know is hal yes. say no tension no problem yeah 
Yeah, so, um, yeah, um, she'll be right. Mm-hmm. But it'll be okay, she'll be right. Yeah, uh, exactly that one I'm talking about. She'll be right. She'll be right. Yeah, she'll, yeah, she'll be right. She'll be um, right. Gosh, what else? You, you just say things and you don't realise that you're saying them. Uh, exactly. Uh, what about um, Sheila? 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 Sheila. Um, that's that's not used as much anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say, yeah, that, that's not used as okay. much anymore. It's, yeah. Um, cocky um, is used to describe a farmer. May you please write it down, that one? Yes, of course. Um, so, uh, a cocky is... Okay. So here, a cock is a farmer. Um, okay. um, 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 I'm just trying to think what I always say. Um, <laughs> like I said, you just say these words and you don't realise you're saying them. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and what about red bag? Red bag. Red back. Exactly. Spider. <laughs> red back spider. Uh, exactly. Yes, yes. Yeah, no, we, we don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I hope, uh, uh, like, uh, your child are, like, so sincere looking. They are so sincere. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Um, sl Hello? 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 Uh, may you please write it down that one also? Yeah, yeah. Um, grass. Um, equals cool. Okay, so how can we use it, grass? Pardon? Uh, like, uh, how you use it like grass? Oh, that's grass. Grouse. Grass? Exactly. Grouse. I really like that. That's grouse. Grouse. Yep. Excellent pronunciation. Because <laughs> uh, I'm doing yeah. one hour. Exactly. One hour every day pronunciation practice. <laughs> that's grouse. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, and, and too, because of, like the way that she'll be right, it's more of a heel instead of she'll because people say she'll in normal language now australian so she'll so it's like heel with that sh really that's it mm -hmm. um and uh, and as for uh an Australian way of saying police mm -hmm. is um, uh, Johnny Hopper equals or copper. Johnny Hopper is a copper. Okay, so copper. So what does it mean, Johnny Hopper? Um, copper. Okay, they are saying this one for Johnny Ho or Hopper for... So, Johnny Hopper or Johnny? Okay. Um, I, and that's something that I grew up with. Like, I'm 49. Mm -hmm. And um, I very rarely... If I see a police officer, oh, there's, there's the Johnnies. Mm -hmm. And definitely... Yeah. When I was growing up, it was always the coppers. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was Johnny Hopper, a copper. So I just, oh, there's Johnny's. So, yeah, Johnny Hopper is a copper. Oh, that's really cool one. <laughs> I love that one, yes. Me I said that all likewise. the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
talking about in english language like a, okay so, uh, so uh, snacks is sn- another one snacks so you like snacks word so yeah um so another i'm just trying to, to think my favorite um, so snacks so what does it mean snack sausages sausages yes okay like uh, like something like red or like filled with some something stuff okay so sausages are like they're about that long mhm and about mm, that like, wide like uh, round and round something similar to a hot dog uh like i was this thing in mickey mouse Um, that is a type of this something like a roll roll something type of rolling like roll round and round um, no sorry something you eat uh, exactly it, it it is for eating yes it's for eating it's um similar to a hot dog but mm-hmm. it's got like meat um and and things in it mm-hmm. um yeah um actually i um and where i put grouse another one and this means exactly the same is ice hey so what does it mean yeah. exactly the same as grouse okay so, so cool so okay. yeah um so it also means like uh, sausages no no i ice is the same as grouse cool cool yeah uh you know uh, there is a one thing i would like to share about ace with you like ace yes. is ace is also used for you know to going get better like ace means like a, uh, i can say i'm ace my english with sam d with miss sam d i am ace my english yes yep that is one is right yes yes that's perfect mhm yes yes so yes yeah, so actually i would probably use it for what you use the definition so we will just get rid of that one there mhm yeah use it for your definition more okay um so i i probably say my oh, yeah. so i didn't write them all down we spoke about a few of them of course um, you know uh, i want to know from you how often do you come across like indian student i would say you're probably my first in your whole life or like on this platform on this platform okay i am the only yes. i am the only first one yes mhm so i'm i'm very privileged <laughs> i am really entitled as well <laughs> thank you 
Ja. So, uh, yeah. So, are you living in India? Exactly. Still? Exactly. Yeah. I'm still living in India. Yeah. Wonderful. So, what time is it in India? What time? It is, you can say, 4.51 a.m. Oh my goodness, that's early. Exactly. You can see here, like, raining outside. Oh, wow, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's raining. I'm in my bathroom. Yes. Okay, being very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't want to disturb my family members. Yes. Yes. Uh, so you know, if you had any superpower, what would it it be, and why? If you had to choose any superpower, like invisible, like teleportation, like anything, what would you, your superpower would you choose if you have the chance? Uh, what does it mean? Would you like to please write it down for me? Yeah. To grant peace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To stop the arguments and the warring and the... Yeah. The, yeah, the... Just to have peace, mm-hmm. to, to stop all of the horrible warring and stuff that goes on. Exactly, I can see in your uh, attitude, in your like first time lesson with you, I can say really, you are uh, like a pragmatic person, like uh, you have all the, these things what you have mentioned, you are uh, a complete real life example. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I, um, yeah, I just, sometimes you just want to go up and just shake people and say, enough. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, I think. So what would you do if it was your superpower? What my superpower? Um, you can say, uh, I would like to, you know, uh, like teleportation. Uh, like if I want to, you know, take class with you, I can <laughs> come to Australia now at the moment. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the uh, second thing uh, would be invisible. Yes. I would like to become in- invisible also. Okay. Yeah. So. That sounds good. So, do you like to read a book? I love reading, yes. Uh, so how often do you read? Um, I generally read nightly. Nightly? So yes. around how many pages every day? Um, I don't know. I just keep flicking. Okay. I, I read on my iPad. Mm-hmm. Um, because that way I don't have to have the light on mm-hmm. and because it's already lit so I'm not bothering <laughs> my husband. I can just, just keep reading. Um, I love reading Wilbur Smith books. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you prefer and, uh, like a fiction or non-fiction book? Um, it's, it's non-fiction but... They, he puts in parts of reality. So he he was born in South Africa. Okay. So he he writes about the South African plane and and stuff when about how he grew up. But it is non-fiction. So, but he has a way of writing. Yeah, like there is one writer you're you talking mean? about. There is one writer. Beg your pardon. I mean to say, 
you are telling me about uh, any particular writer from South Africa? Yeah, Will, uh, Wilbur Smith, yes. May you please write it down that name? Yes, certainly. Okay. So, what is the best yes. best book you have ever read? If you have recommend to any book, just a person like me, which book would you like to recommend me? To be honest, the best book I've ever read is the Bible. The Bible. Uh, ah, yeah. Um, the best book I've ever read. Apart from that one, I'm talking about Bible. Yes, yes. No, I'm thinking. Um. Gosh, I can't think off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. My brain's not working this morning. Um, I'm, to be honest, I'm not sure. I'll have a think and I'll put it in your notes for you. Of course, uh, but, no worries. Okay. Yeah, no. I ju we're going to automatically cut out at 28 minutes. So I just want to say thank you so much for our lesson this morning. It was a pleasure to meet you. Of course. Spot on. Spot on. Take care. Really.